Welcome to Asia Briefing Publications. My name is Boni Anev and I'm the current marketing assistant in our New Delhi office. Today with me is Gunjan Sina, the country manager of our India practice. Asia Briefing is a subsidiary of Desan Shiran Associates, which is a foreign direct investment specialist with pan-Asian presence. The company is one of the few firms to provide a spread of local, pan-Asian and global expertise. This ranges from advising on country operational comparisons, including tax and labor comparisons, in addition to advising on treasury, payroll management structures, corporate establishment, compliance advisory, accounting and more. The publication that we are going to discuss today is the February 2014 edition titled Taking Advantage of India's FDI Reforms. Hello Gunjan, can you introduce some of the main topics this issue covers so far? In this particular publication, we focus our attention on the advantages of FDI reforms introduced during 2013 and the ones that are expected to be implemented during 2014. In order to cover this topic, we have divided the magazine into four parts. In the first section, we discuss the recent changes in the Indian FDI policy with special emphasis on the FDI routes and forms a foreign investor needs to consider. Following is the changes in single and multi-brand retail trading, as well as the possible changes in FDI regulation that might occur during 2014. In the second section of the magazine, we go over the topic of establishing a business in India. We discuss things like how to set up a liaison office, branch office and project office. Furthermore, one can find the requirements for opening such offices as well as the needed documentation. In the third section of the publication, we are looking at how one can set up a wholly foreign owned business in India. We cover the required forms that are needed for successful establishment of wholly foreign owned company along with the different categories of applicable taxes. Next. We look at indirect taxes such as customs duty, basic custom duty, educational sales, countervailing duty, VAT and service tax. In the fourth section, our founding partner Mr. Chris Devonshire Ellis provides the reason behind why India's 2014 business outlook looks so positive, as well as explain why India is considered to be the next must-have destination in FDI around the world. Why do you think the topic of FDI reforms is of particular interest to our readers? I believe that an investor willing to make strategic and informed decisions about investing in India needs to have a deep understanding of the various options for investing in India. Furthermore, one should be aware of the recent FDI policy changes that allow for investment in several new key business sectors. Having knowledge of what documentation and requirements the government impose on setting up business in this newly opened business sectors may reduce frustration and cost from the investor's side. In other words, understanding the new FDI reforms may give investors more options for investment as well as can lay the foundations for a successful business startup in India. In a nutshell, these are the reasons of why we focus on the FDI reforms topic and why we think it is of interest to our readers. If the reader was to read our magazine, what do you hope the main takeaways will be? I hope that anyone who reads this publication of India Briefing will gain a solid understanding of what FDI reforms have been implemented during 2013, along with the details of them. I would like to think also that each reader will understand the types of taxes that apply to a wholly owned foreign business in India. Last but not the least, I hope that the reader will understand the different documentation and requirements needed for setting up office in India together with the expected changes in FDI policy during 2014. If there are other issues that we did not cover and you are interested in, please go to our website asiabriefing.com where there are more multimedia works such as articles, guides, podcasts which can help you to do better business in Asia.